Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Loves. So today I want to talk to you about this awesome pink Eureka tree. If you guys have been following me from the beginning, you guys would remember this tree that I propagated from my neighbor's pink Eureka at my old house. Um, they had a tree facing my one of my fence and I asked my neighbor if I can propagate it and I had success. It's still here. Um, however, I feel like it needs a bigger pot and I'm gonna give it some treatment because I keep seeing the few leaves that it is leafing burning off. So I need some sort of protection. And I wanna go ahead and take care of that today. I'm gonna put it in a slightly bigger pot and put the right soil in there. And I'm gonna show you guys the step and that way you guys can see what I do to take care of my trees, especially the ones that I have propagated from other trees from my neighbors. This happens to be one of them. I'll link the video down below so you guys can see the original steps that I took to get this little tree. It's been almost a year. It's still thriving. Like I mentioned, the only thing it doesn't have um, is as many leaves. Hopefully, they'll start blooming pretty soon. It does have flowers blooming. It has bloom flowers. I don't know if you can see that. See that um so it is thriving okay so it's getting established i think hopefully by the end of this season it'll be well established and i am going to put it in a new container so let's go ahead and take care of that okay if you guys have any questions put them down below um you know or any comments i don't know if you guys have done this before i'm curious to see to hear what you guys have to say about your experience with propagating trees um the method i used was air layer and i used the method that um i learned from ib organic charles he actually has a video out there that walks you step by step on how to do what i did um and i'll try to link that video down below as well um if you guys haven't seen um, Ivy Organics channels. I highly, highly recommend that you guys check his channel out because he has tons, I mean, tons of information about citrus and apple trees and just anything about fruit trees. Um, he's full and full of information and I highly recommend you check his channel out. I'll put the link down below. But for now, let's go ahead and take care of this beauty so it's ready for the spring that we're in and also for summer when it starts getting hot. All right, so let's get to it. So I went ahead and prepared the soil. I put some cactus and citrus soil along with some worm castings in here. But now we're going to pull this beauty out of this container. Once again, this was the tree that I propagated from my neighbor's house. I'm very eager to see what the root system looks like. How this is going to work out. There's roots. The roots look really good. Let's see. So let's do this. It's always harder when we put these, use these pots. So there's the root system. I'll bring it closer right now. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do now is Get some of the soil and put it in this container that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to mix it around. Let me get closer. I'm going to mix it around. Some of the soil that was in there got in here. You guys can see that. Put a little more. Oh, 
All right, guys. If you guys have seen all my other repotting videos, you guys would know that I don't repot any tree without using this product. This product is called Short, Short Start. And it basically helps the roots get reestablished. And I always put it right where the roots are gonna go. So now that that's done, I'm going to grab the plant and spread the roots. That way it knows that it has a new place. Wow, these roots look amazing. I'm really, really impressed. Remember guys, this was the first time that I propagated a tree using the air layer method. And I'm really impressed with the root system. So, you can see where the trunk is from where I did the cutting. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Look at that. I'm All right guys, so I just want to show you that again. This is amazing. I'm really impressed with this. Look at that. Ah, I'm so excited, okay. So there we go. Let me show you guys how I'm putting this in there. See that? I'm spreading the roots that look amazing. I put shirt start and I'm about to cover it with a small layer of soil. this tree is not that difficult my formula is um, for citrus tree I use cactus mix cactus and citrus and I use also um, warm castings and I also put sure star sure star is the must 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 and then after I'm going to show you one last uh, actually two more la two more steps but what I noticed with this little tree since it's barely growing roots it's not leafing as much and the leaves that are leafing they're getting burned okay so this tree is actually delicate. I mean, it's a baby and it got cloned from a different tree. So we're going to have to protect this tree as much as possible. Um, and what I'm going to do today in order to protect it, I'm going to use this three in one guard. And what this is basically, it protects newly installed plants and trees that are especially susceptible to excess sunlight and damage caused by insects coat all exposed leaves branches trunks to protect sun stress and sunburn especially at the time of extreme heat and the heat's coming um, I mean even today was like 80 degrees here in Southern California so I'm definitely gonna have to protect this little baby and like I mentioned earlier some of these leaves keep getting burned and as you know um, trees need sunlight and they use their leaves to actually um, you know grow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the tree. Let me make sure that it's spraying. And I'm going to spray it so I can protect the trunk, which is very important, especially since, I, as you guys know, if you guys follow my channel, I've been having some rat or mouse, I'm not sure what they are, problems. And um, I want to make sure that the rat doesn't get tempted to start biting into this beauty because it's a baby. And I would be really proud if this grows up to be a larger tree and produces plenty and plenty of food. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to take care of this tree. Okay, so the trunk is completely coated, which is perfect. And you know what? This is going to help with the cutting I did right here. I don't know if you can see that. I did a cutting right here. I took this branch off because it was, mu it was way too big, the cutting I did. 
um, so I wanted to shorten the tree and I took that so I am gonna make sure that I spray that trunk in order to protect it from sunburn and in order to protect it from any um, bugs that might want to start eating at the dead tree okay because this is a dead piece I don't know if you can see that but it is a dead piece so I want to protect that all right guys so that's going to protect my little tree from any sun, any bugs that might want to start eating it. And the next thing I'm going to do is obviously I have to water it. <laughs> I have to water it. So I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing with my other trees. When I water it, when I just transplant it like I did right now, I usually put Super Thrive. And I put a little bit of Super Thrive in, the, in my my water what do you call it i can't even think right now um what do you call it you know my water jug and then i put water and then water this so i'm going to do that next guys I'm so excited to be finishing this off I mean it might be a little ridiculous to be excited about this but this is my baby I mean I cloned it from my neighbor's tree uh, you guys were able to see the stem under the roots the roots are doing great um, and it looks really pretty in this and I want to show you guys how it looks after the spray dries out it's kind of like sunblock can you guys see that and I'm really excited. I think this is going to work out really well. I got a little carry away with the spray <laughs> because my fig, I noticed it had sunburns. And there's some more sunburns here. So while I was spraying this tree, I accidentally got some onto this tree. So I decided to just continue covering it because this tree gets a lot of sun right here, which is great for the tree. But uh, I'm getting sunburn, which is not a good thing. See that? There's some sunburn right there, sunburn right there sunburn right there so i want to make sure that i protect this tree because last year it gave me a handful of figs they were delicious and this tree it looks like this year it looks like it's going to get even bigger but that's a whole another video we'll talk about my fig tree another time but i did want to take the opportunity to show you the the burn marks and how i spray the tree by the way if you guys don't follow Charles at Ivy Organa, you guys should definitely go take a look at him because he has tons of videos, uh, a lot of informative videos, which are very helpful if you are into gardening like I am. Um, so go ahead and take a, um, take a look at his videos and his channel. Subscribe to him. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Anyways, guys, back to this awesome citrus tree that I am so excited about um by the way another thing this method that i that i learned how to propagate um air layer i actually learned, learned it from charles um i can also <laughs> share that video where he shows you step by step on how to do this method um he i mean i could just go on and on because he has tons of information and tons of um techniques that he used um with all his trees and you'll learn a lot from him anyways guys so back to what i was saying um with the citrus i love 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 that soil which is citrus and palm i'll show you the back here shortly um i don't know something about the soil just my trees my citrus trees just thrive in them like as you can see you've seen a, my tour like all my trees are well established which um here let me show you another one over here this one if you guys seen my previous videos you guys know that i just recently transplanted this tree from a different container to its current container which is right there and um and it's doing fine i don't even think it felt any shock or anything so all my citrus trees just absolutely love the soil that i put it in and this is the bag that i that i buy this is my ultimate favorite i mean sometimes when i have I don't have time to go to the nurseries, which is all nurseries usually carry this. I end up getting like the regular um, citrus 
citrus soil that they have in Home Depot, but I, I prefer this one over all the other, the other brands and the other, the other, um, what do you call it? Soil. So I definitely, I mean, look at this one. This is only, I've only had this for a year and you guys have seen my harvest. So it definitely, definitely, um, makes a difference in my opinion. Um, and so, yeah. Those are the steps I use to repot all my citrus trees. Uh, I'm very repetitive and I'm very consistent about how I do things because it gives me results. It gives me results and, you know, I, I have fruit. So, anyways, that works for me. Uh, feel free to try it and see if it works for you. And I think that's the conclusion of my video. I am going to keep a close eye on this beauty. If you've done this um, air layer method, with another tree i would love love to hear about it leave it in the comments down below and if you have a video i would love to check out your video i've only had this for a year so if you had your citrus trees or whatever clone tree that you that you done for longer than a year i'm definitely interested in that um anyways guys i'm gonna try to cut it short because i feel like this video has gone way too long i can talk forever about this topic uh, all right guys well don't forget like always like Leave comments down below and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.